just do that. Uh, welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another one. Uh, we're heading off to Aldi in this one and I picked up a bottle of their coffee stout. Uh, it's in a 500ml bottle, coming in at 5.2% and it's one of them specially selected ones that it seems to be that specially selected or taste the difference kind of thing it seems to be cropping up anywhere. Uh, yeah, picked it up from there, £1.29 if, if I remember rightly. Uh, brewed in the UK in partnership with Hall and Woodhouse. Now I think they're out of Dorset. They've done something else I had of theirs. I can't think of an. Uh, it says on the bottom, rich, dark and indulgent with subtle coffee aromas, caramel and vanilla notes, complex yet perfectly smooth. Uh, I do like the label. That's kind of sort of old school a little bit. Uh, we've got a specially selected bottle cap. Now it's been out the fridge all day, so it's probably room temperature. So whether it will be too warm, I don't know. I'm gonna bang it in this glass because I don't have a, one of them glasses, if you like. So let's get it cracked open and see what we get. And I'm gonna do a little bit more waffling while I pour the beer. So, uh, it's been announced on Facebook today from the Perfect Draft Group, or perfectdraft.com if you like, that there is a new keg being released tomorrow. And it is Brewdog's Lost Lager, 4.5%. Uh, so that's coming out tomorrow. And I'm gonna order it, so, and I've got nothing in the PD either at the moment, so it's probably, as soon as I get it ordered and it turns up, I'm probably gonna review it that night. Uh, so look out for that. And also, just down there, uh, my Pinter 3 has finally turned up. So I am going to have another go uh, with the Pinter. Hopefully this one isn't going to have so many issues. Uh, so over the next few days, expect an unboxing video and a few thoughts on what I think and on how different it is compared to the first one which I had and whether it feels any better, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. And then I'm gonna get a brew on. So uh, yeah, there's a couple of them sort of videos that'll be coming up and obviously the standard beer reviews. Anyway, wow, when I opened this and I poured it, a massive whack of coffee. Uh, now that is very, that's not, certainly not black. That's definitely not black. It looks black there, but that's got a very, sort of red hue in it. It's like a very dark, deep mahogany sort of color. We've got about a finger of a fluffy cloud, slightly off-white tan head. So let's go in with the nostrils and see what we get. There is a bit left in the bottle. Wow. Rich, dark coffee, sort of. I'm trying to think what sort of coffee it sort of smells like, but it's a real rich, deep, dark coffee aroma in there. With a rich, dark chocolate aroma. It smells, to be fair, damn good. And it said indulgent on the front. It definitely smells indulgent. So let's stop chatting shit. Let's give this baby a bit of a top up. Let's see if we can get it all in there. Ooh, some major domage going on there, Baza. So, we're all in. Audi's Coffee Stout. It's from Hall and Woodhouse. Brewed for Audi, obviously. Uh, let's give it a go. 5.2%. Cheers, everyone. £1.29. Oh, that's... Ooh. That is rich, dark and indulgent. Ooh. That... Wow, that is massive, massive on the coffee. But let's go on, let's do my usual thing. Probably, probably wish I'd do something different, didn't you? It's quite light in body and it is quite well carbonated. And I'm wondering if they've done that because the tastes are so powerful. Uh, not the smoothest sort of stout I've had, but it's certainly in a too bad. Oh, blimey. Uh, 
nice and drinkable, as in how easy it goes down. But what I am going to say on the taste, wow, that is one powerful coffee taste. Now, I like a coffee as much as the next man, but I'm probably only a couple of cups of coffee a day and they'll be maybe first thing in the morning or one halfway through the day. If I think this is going to be the sort of beer for someone who is almost a coffee addict. I mean, that coffee is massively powerful and it's got a big bitter coffee taste on the back end. Excuse me. Let's go in and give you some tasting notes apart from coffee. It's rich. It's malty. Dark chocolate. It is very smooth. It has got a velvety, almost creamy feel in the mouth. But it... <laughs> For me, it's too powerful on the coffee and too powerful on the dark chocolate. Probably not so much, a little bit too much coffee. And a little bit too much bitterness in it. it it's, a, it's a little bit, it's a little bit strong on the, the coffee and bitterness. Uh, I'm trying to think what sort of coffee it's sort of, I've had coffee that sort of tastes like this. And I'm not sure if it's on Honduran coffee or Colombian or something. I think Honduran sort of stuff. It can be quite bitter and quite full on. This one is that. Uh, now, I don't want to say it's necessarily a bad beer because I think, I think with the aromas and the flavors, they're, they're, they're absolutely punching way above their weight certainly for what you pay for it but it's maybe just gone a little bit too far but that could just be my taste uh one pound 29 blimey i mean that's good value but you've got to have some palate to to take this i think it is nice it really is it's a but it's just that back end when that coffee kick really sort of kicks in it's sort of sweet coffee to start off with and it tails off it's almost like that chocolate thing uh, is there with the coffee and it's just making it sweeter a little bit sweeter a little bit more palatable and then when the chocolate sort of disappears you're left with that real sort of astringent coffee bitterness uh, which is a shame but, like I say, that could be just my taste. So, uh, for me, Audi, uh, their coffee stout is a little bit too overdone in coffee. Or whatever coffee it is. Uh, you know, maybe it's just the coffee rather than too much of it. But it's a little bit overdone, personally, for my taste. But, my God, they're not wrong with what you're getting that rich dark indulgent with subtle coffee aromas you get the coffee yeah caramel vanilla is it vanilla yeah definitely caramel actually saying that definitely caramel and i suppose you can get that bit of a uh, vanilla in there whether they doesn't say chocolate but i kind of get chocolate but that'd be maybe the caramel and vanilla but the coffee is just way too much for me so uh yeah would I recommend it? I'd certainly recommend giving it a go. If you like coffee and you like it strong and powerful, definitely give that a go because I tell you what, if you do like this, I think that is an absolute steal at £1.29 uh, if it's your kind of thing. If it isn't and you don't like coffee, if, you, if you're not even, if you like the odd coffee, don't even touch it. That is way, way too much. But otherwise, I'm quite impressed with that, really, for £1.29. So uh, there's my views on this beer. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Uh, Pardon me. See you on my next one. Uh, and good night. <laughs>